and four, GSD. Yes, two and four, information and technology, value streams and processes. These are correct. Yeah, the other ones are not correct. Very simple question. In the exam, the questions are usually simple. Sometimes you may have some text and you have to identify which um, dimension it is. So yeah, the answer is correct. It is. Um, yeah, it is um, two and four. This is an advanced question. Usually you will not find such question in the exam, but still good to practice it. Remember the, the decision making factors for outsourcing to suppliers? Decision to be self sufficient as possible, maybe could be a factor. We don't want to outsource, we want to be self sufficient. But usually the reasons are not this, the reasons are either to lower the cost, yeah, that could be a factor to outsource, or uh, skills required immediately this is another key factor generally that we have we don't have the skills internally and uh, we want to therefore go for a vendor yeah so two and three definitely are good a decision that a service or product will demonstrate high degrees of variability uh, normally you know when we use cloud systems the cloud can accommodate uh, lower and higher demands uh, lower and higher demands of um, usage so it can be a correct answer uh, four as well yeah, why not? Because cloud allows us to uh, uh, manage fluctuating demand. That's fine. But however, we don't have the answer with two, three, and four. So which is the best one? One and two. One is ruled out. So we cannot go with one actually. It's not a right answer. Two yeah. and three. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. B. This is, yeah, B is correct. Yeah. This is also ruled out and therefore this is also ruled out. Okay, let's look at the next one, uh, see the answer here. Yeah, that's the answer. Another one. Again, an advanced question. This is about the PESEL factors, which can influence the service provider or the consumer. Which of these factors influence service provider? So let's go one by one. Government legislation to keep all data internal. Yes, such legislations that definitely impact the provider's way of working. Social influences to involve the entire family unit. This is a tricky one. Uh, initially, it seems like a no, but if you look at, for example, health insurance policies, sometimes you have a family insurance. Uh, you know, family health insurance might be popular in the community. Therefore, this has to be considered by the service provider. That's what it means. Legislation to use only local suppliers. Yes, sometimes the government says use only local suppliers. Then the provider has to uh, ha has to consider that. Then again, the same thing: the product variability. Yeah, if the if the demand for use of the product is fluctuating, yes, that should be considered. So all of them need to be considered. Again, it's an advanced question. Don't worry much about it for the exam. Uh, you will not get such a question in the exam. But we are just alerting you that sometimes you may have one or two more uh, tough questions. So the right answer would be all of them, one, two, three, and four. Uh, try question number five.
value stream and process? Yes, uh, activities there for value streams and processes. Yes, very good. Cannot be organizations, people, cannot be information and technology, cannot be partners and suppliers. So D is the correct answer, value streams and processes. Let's do one more question. Number 35, please. The rules and responsibility because that is for organization of people. Mm, true, true. Yeah. Whereas uh, we need information technology for security and compliance. And um, like, you know, security patches, communication systems, and knowledge, knowledge bases, workflow management and inventory systems. These are all IT. Yeah. INT. So D, roles and responsibilities is the answer. You're right. Okay, so with that, uh, we are done with uh, 